Are you feeling fatigued throughout the day, struggling with your mood and your energy levels, or maybe just sluggish and lacking motivation? Or do you find yourself hungry not long after finishing a meal? All of these could be signs you aren't eating enough protein. We get it. Hitting your daily protein intake can be a daunting task, especially if you're not used to tracking food or counting macros and don't even know why you should eat protein. Let's start there. Protein will help you look, feel, and perform better during exercise and throughout your day. Hitting your daily protein intake is an important part of any balanced diet. But it's not just about a diet, it's about how you feel and function in life. It's also an essential macronutrient, so your body absolutely needs it. It helps to maintain energy levels, build and repair muscle tissue, along with allowing you to stay satiated. Protein also supports a healthy immune system and not to mention hair growth, skin health, and hormone balance. Proteins are involved in virtually every process that occurs within the body and helps us to maintain a healthy internal environment. So why is it that something so essential and helpful in our lives is often not prioritized or underconsumed? Here's five reasons why you might struggle to hit your protein intake. Not knowing that you need protein or how much protein you should be intaking. Not knowing sources of protein. Not having time to cook protein. Or not knowing how to cook protein sources or wanting to touch raw meat. And then not knowing how to apply it to your day in life to make sure that you can consistently do it. Now let's dig into these. Hopefully I've already sold you on how important protein is, but what's a little bit more? Protein is important for building muscle mass and providing energy throughout the day. Without it, you might struggle to complete daily tasks or feel worn out halfway through the day. Protein also helps regulate hormones and enzymes that control your body functions like digestion and metabolism. Additionally, having adequate amounts of protein will help you maintain a healthy weight by preserving muscle mass and helping keeping you fuller for longer periods of time. Protein is integral for optimal physical performance, mental alertness, and sustained energy levels, all while maintaining a healthy lifestyle. Now let's go ahead and get into how much protein that you individually need. The current recommended dietary allowance or RDA for protein is 0.8 grams of protein per kilogram per day. This number is often disputed, but it has been found to be adequate for meeting the needs of healthy non-exercising adults. It is clear that more protein is required daily for adults looking to optimize strength training adaptations. So the current suggested amount for protein intake for exercising adults is between 1.6 and 2.2 grams of protein per kilogram per day. But this can travel upwards of three, four, or five grams of protein per kilogram per day without any adverse effects shown. I had a family friend have surgery and after surgery, the doctor had told her that she really needed to get some more protein in her diet. And she genuinely had no idea what was gonna be a good source of protein. So we've got you covered there. Go ahead and screenshot it now. And we'll have a list of some different protein sources. But if you want a more in-depth and inclusive list, then go ahead and click the link in the description box to get on our email list. And we're gonna send you a protein cheat sheet that is gonna include different sources of protein as well as how much protein they have in it to help you out. Mm -hmm. I get it. You're busy. Spending time cooking up protein isn't how you wanna spend your day or your free time. Or maybe you don't wanna to touch raw meat, or maybe you don't even know how to cook different protein sources. So that's where I come in. Here are some great on-the-go, no-cook protein options. You can go with something super easy like this drinkable yogurt shake. Cottage cheese is another great one, as well as pre-made and pre-cooked protein. Deli meats, hard-boiled eggs, tuna, beans, lentils, chickpeas, edamame, smoked salmon, jerky, protein powder, and protein bars to name a few. But if you do wanna learn how to cook protein, then go ahead and check out this video.
Now it's about finding out how to make this work for you and your life. So here are my top five tips for hitting your protein intake with ease. Number one is pre-planning. A great way to hit your daily protein intake is through meal prepping at the beginning of the week or just taking some time to plan. Protein is truly the hardest macro to hit without intention, so looking ahead is key. Sometimes I'll have my meals completely prepped in full, where other times I'll have protein and carbs prepped in bulk so I can put together my meals on the fly. Any way I do it, I always take some time to pre-plan. Planning ahead helps ensure frequent eating and adequate nutrition from sources that are both convenient and efficient. There are so many times that I wouldn't hit my goals if I did not plan ahead. And on that same vein, pre-tracking is a fail-safe way to reach your goals and eliminate decision fatigue. I use an app like MyFitnessPal and I'll plug in what I'm wanting to eat that day so I can see how each meal comes together in accordance with my personal goals. And I'm not left playing macro Tetris at the end of the day. Number two is a protein per meal goal. It's actually the most optimal way to consume protein is to have an even distribution throughout the day. So let's say your goal is 120 grams of protein and you eat four meals per day, then you would aim for 30 grams per meal. This also helps mentally with knowing the goal for each meal so you aren't just striving for that big number. You're able to break it down and look at things meal by meal, which is much less overwhelming. Now, number three is having your go-to and favorite protein sources. Now, this first comes from knowing what has protein in it, which you did learn earlier, but then narrowing it down from there. I personally enjoy eggs, ground turkey, chicken, ground beef, yogurt, and steak, which leads me into number four, and that's gonna be building your meals around a protein. Since protein is the hardest to hit without intention and pre-planning, I like to start with it. So let's say I want chicken to be the star of the show, the bell of the ball. Then I can add complementary carbs and fats based on what I'm wanting. I could do something like chicken fajitas with rice and beans on the side and maybe some cheese in there too. And that would get me the carbs, fats, proteins, and veggies that I need for a complete meal. Or maybe I'm in the mood for yogurt. So I put together a yogurt bowl with toppings, chocolate of course included. And then if I'm needing some more carbs, I can build from that protein source and choose an option like a bagel or an English muffin. So knowing what you like makes it easier to adhere and building around the protein gives you a clear direction to go to. But now we have gotten to my favorite hack, which is number five, and that is going to be using different sources of protein in one meal. I promise you this is a game changer. My husband has to hit around 50 grams of protein per meal. When it came to breakfast, he would get so burnt out on eggs trying to hit that goal. I mean, that's a lot of eggs. So now I make him a breakfast quesadilla and the protein comes from eggs, but also cheese, bacon, egg whites, and chicken. He's able to consistently eat the meal and adhere to his goals just by switching how he got the protein within the meal. Another example is actually the fajitas I mentioned earlier. Not only would you be getting protein from the chicken, but the beans and cheese carry protein as well. So your meal can have a variety of textures and flavor, which is definitely what I'm looking for. Now, of course, the way you prepare and season your protein will have an impact. So realize that this will take some trial and error along the way. Try different seasonings, try grilling, try baking, try different things to really find out what you like. By taking the time to plan ahead and learn a little bit more about protein, you'll find achieving your daily target that much easier, leading to improved muscle health, enhanced performance levels, plus overall improvements in general health. And kissing all of those protein struggles, goodbye.